Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to episode 6 of Python's Realm. I do hope you guys are having a lovely day. Thank you so much as always for all of the beautiful support you guys have been showing. Last episode reached well over 2,000 likes, which is very, very cool. Thank you so much for that, my friends. Now, of course, if this is the first video you're checking out on my channel here, do go ahead and consider subscribing with those bell notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of our daily episodes here from the Let's Play. And of course, if you guys want to go one further, you could always go ahead and use code PYTHON to support me when buying any of the Apex Gaming PCs or any sneak energy drinks. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we're going to address the elephant in the room first. We've got this whopping great build going on here. And yeah, it's basically another NPC hotel. I kind of decided, you know what, we went ahead and made a ginormous NPC hotel on the Hardcore Let's Play shortly before we died. Uh, so I just kind of figured, you know what, let's go ahead and get the structure done between episodes. I've got still loads of wood left, actually. And then, yeah, we'll go ahead and do the interior in today's episode and hopefully get ourselves a bunch of NPCs inside of this place. Now, this top room, I'm pretty convinced, is not going to be big enough for any NPCs to live in. Although, I don't know. I think it needs, like, 35 air spaces. Uh, I don't know. I think I could actually make this into a valid NPC house, you know, with a little bit of trickery. And it's going to be the same kind of dealio as per the Hardcore Let's Play. This is going to be a temporary arrangement until we start going ahead and making ourselves a whole bunch of houses all over the world so we can get a pylon network set up. This is merely for the purpose of just trying to see just how many NPCs we can get inside of our world. I mean, look at it, guys. We've got four NPCs spread all across the world because they don't have anywhere to live at the moment. So we need to go ahead and fix that. So do you know what? That's exactly what we're going to go ahead and do. All right, guys. Time to get some background walls going on. We've got all of the furniture in. Well, all of the basic furniture to actually have these classes NPC houses in. Uh, so all we've got to do is get the background walls in. Get some sort of lighting source inside of each of them. And then maybe whatever other special furniture we may have going on as well. So, yeah. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, there we are. The background walls are just about in. Yeah. I like how we managed to get, like, some sort of windows in each and every single one of them. Nice. All right, what is going on up here? Not valid housing. Ah, I wonder why. I say this every single time without fail. Why can they not make a slightly more descriptive thing? Instead of it just saying, not valid housing, say why. How about now? There we are. Now it's suitable. Right, who do we want living up here? You know what? The guides can take top and center. Ha! Fantastic. All right, so yeah, these things are now fully valid as far as I can tell. Uh, let's just make sure that da -da 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 -da, suitable. Suitable, suitable. Okay, keep going down. Suitable, someone's living in there. Suitable, suitable. Okay, every single house in here is now NPC suitable. Absolutely beautiful. Exactly what we're looking for. So, I guess when it becomes nighttime, we could just sort of, uh, you know, roam away and then come back. And then we'll be able to see all the NPCs in our little NPC hotel. Well, it's not exactly little, is it? It's kind of big, actually. <laughs> hey! The Dryad has just arrived. Fan freaking tastic. We're getting there slowly but surely, aren't we? Uh, all right. Where did she move into? Wait, what? Where is she? Oh, she moved into there where the guide was, of course. Oh, man. I'm really stupid, aren't I? <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. Everything's going well, isn't it? We're starting to get there. All right. We just need to figure out ways to fill in these top uh, five NPC rooms, I guess. I mean, I don't really have that much other furniture left. We've just got chests and storage, pretty much. Eh, okay. Maybe we need to try and get some other crafting stations. All right, real quick. This place down here is kind of annoying me. So I'm actually going to go ahead and entirely fill it in. Because then I might just about be able to plant in another tree up here. Another little, small little tree. Yeah, it's a little happy tree. Well, I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, this sure is looking like a very nice area to be in in this world, huh? Yeah, look at all the butterflies. There's bleeding loads of them. Should we try and capture a whole bunch of them? Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Another one. Yeah, there's another one. And there's another one. There we are. All the NPCs appear to be inside of their, uh, spaces? Uh, Joe, are you okay there, buddy? Do you need to have a chat? Do you need to have a chat about what's going on in your life? Hmm? Ah, well. 
Alright, there we are. House of Gurri occupied. And since we have ourselves, I think it's two solid blocks the NPCs need to be able to walk on before this place is counted as an NPC house. It would just be nice if when it said this is not valid housing, it would state that that is the reason. Do you know what I mean? Like, it would just be so much easier to the newer players out there to be able to figure out what exactly is going on. Rather than having a very, very vague, this housing is not suitable message. You know what I mean? Hey guys, check this out. I just realized we've got more than 75 five platinum bars which means we could do a very very certain thing oh yeah platinum armor yeah going from what was it 20 defense up to 25 all right an increase of about what 25 percent all right guys so i've just figured out what i'm probably going to do for the rest of the episode and that is to explore the underground jungle i mean we've got a fair amount of defense we've got some decent accessories we've got a decent amount of health and mana in fact talking of mana look at that we've got 24 fallen stars we should be able to do this yeah, the base maximum of 200 mana. Right, now as far as I remember, to get the die trader to spawn in, you merely just have to have some sort of die related thing in your inventory. And then for the arms dealer to move in, you simply have to have some sort of, you know, weapon, uh, a gun in your inventory, basically. Random side note, I've actually begun on trying to smooth a whole bunch of the world out. So, yep, as you can see, looking very, very nice. So if we manage to get ourselves the unicorn mount eventually then we'll just be able to freaking surge throughout our entire world it would be amazing oh yes it would all right starting off with a surface chest with our third agla in the world well i don't know about you but that's kind of cool actually <laughs> normally we struggle massively to get even one agla but here we are with three of them and there's another chest in the water there uh, that's kind of cool. All right, uh, what have we got? Another step stool. Oh, God, it's one of those minecart track things. Ah, uh, I'm still not riding them, guys. I'm still not doing it. I'm still pretty heartbroken from my hardcore Let's Play, man. I'm just not, I'm not doing it. All right, I'm not doing it. I know I could get around quicker, but I'm not doing it. All right, all right, guys. So even though we've already got the platinum armor we need to survive a little bit better, I'm still going to go ahead and pick up this platinum ore because, of course, it is used in the crafting recipe for a spelunker potion, right? So, yeah, the more of this stuff we can get, the more spelunker potions we can make. Ah, uh, we got one of these underground trees here, guys. Ah, get out of here, you stupid man-eater. There we are. That's one of them down. The good thing about the trident is it can still attack through walls, which is actually pretty darn cool, if you ask me. Uh, right, do you know what? We don't even need to kill that guy. We can just go ahead and get right down here and see what we have. A boomstick! Nice! Very, very good. Hey, guys, can you see it? Can you see it? Bottom right. Can you see it? The jungle temple is there. Hey. That's not too bad, is it? It's like right near the freaking surface as well. Like, look at this. We're not even that far down. Cool. That is very, very cool. That's like actually cool. Hey, we, I think we've come across the entrance of it as well. Oh, look, there's an undead miner down there. Ah, oh, how cute. Look at him, roaming around on his lonesome. Ah, poor fella. Oh, God. Uh, that is an explosive trap. Well, we're certainly getting more and more NPCs, ladies and gentlemen. How many do we have now? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We've got 12 NPCs so far in our world. Beautiful. All right, here we are. Yeah, no, ah, you're not killing me, sir. Not today. Not today. Not today. I can hear the little lizard reptile dudes. Hey, what the devil are you doing here? You're supposed to be inside. Uh, yeah, this might take a while. I just want to break those vases, man. Hey, we've got a stake as well. Okay, right. I should probably go ahead and, like, get myself uh, up here so that little lizard dude can't get me. Do these guys, like, even drop anything decent? I can't remember. I mean, I'm pretty sure they have a rare chance of dropping the lizard power cells for the golem summon. But can you even get that pre-hard mode? Is that even a thing? Oh, these guys are legitimately like freaking mini bosses here. Good lord. All right. And death and destruction befalls you, sir. All right. Uh, steak. Yes. I'm going to eat that bad boy right now. Right. What is going on? Where's the door? Oh, there it is. Ah, wow. You could go a fair way into this thing, man. Cool. All right. Well, I might as well go ahead and put that down. 
Yeah. Well, at least there's no traps in the entrance here. That's kind of cool. All right. The zoologist has just moved in. Beautiful. Right. I'm pretty sure the party girl requires something along the lines of 14 NPCs, right? And we've got 13 at the moment. I don't know if there's any more NPCs that will actually come into our world. But if they do, then I'm pretty sure that that's going to fulfill the NPC requirement to be able to get the party girl. Holy crap! Wow! Another two life crystals right next to each other. Oh, what a beautiful sight that is. Yeah! All right, guys. Time to explore the other side. Oh, more diamonds. Hey, don't mind if I do. I'm going to take those bad boys and I am going to be happy about it. All right, so tungsten nearby. We've actually got a swiftness potion on us right now because we had only a stack of one. I kind of figured, you know what? Let's go and just use it and then we'll be good. Uh, all right, so we're now no longer in the jungle. However, comma, yeah! Our final life crystal that we can actually consume here, ladies and gentlemen. A momentous occasion indeed, I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, there we are. 400 health, the pre-hard mode maximum. Oh, come on, base Terraria Lords. I am looking for double jump. And it's a band of regen. Um... Okay, yeah, you do you, baby. Can I, like, put any of my accessories here in the, like, social slot? Because that would certainly make things a little bit easier, at the very least. So, super low-key, one of the other reasons I'm doing caving again is because I needed gel. I had literally two gel on me at the beginning of today's episode, and now we have upwards of 70. So, we could actually try to make ourselves uh, the, you know, the, the, the crown thingy, and then we'll all be good, and then we can actually, you know, take down... King Slime at some point. Whoa, what is that if not a freaking trapped chest, huh? Right, let's go ahead and decipher it. Oh, it's not a trapped chest at all. I can just, like, open it. There we are. <laughs> oh, God. My paranoia is real, ladies and gentlemen. It is so real. Oh, goodness me. All right. Uh, to be honest, I really don't actually want to chuck any of this stuff. So I'm just going to chuck that. I'm going to use both of these. Uh, Band of Regeneration. Uh, okay, that one could just go away. L look at all this stuff. We've got, like, building-related wands. I don't want to get rid of those. And I tell you what, another reason why the jungle is pretty good is we can go ahead and get ourselves a supply of stingers and jungle spores in an attempt to eventually make ourselves the grass blade, because that is definitely going to be something we are going to need if we are going to make ourselves the eventual knight's edge. And if we get the knight's edge in conjunction with full auto swing from the feral claws... Woo! It's got to be a fearsome weapon, guys. Ooh, there's blood in the water, boys. Wait, is that... Ah, oh, it's a fake enchanted sword shrine. <laughs> That's all we seem to be getting nowadays, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Fake ones. Ah, gosh darn it. Hey! Another couple life crystals. You know what? At this point in the game... They're still pretty crucial. The earlier we get a good supply of those bad boys, the better things are going to be. I'm telling you. Because then we can use it for, like, any boss arenas that we may wind up creating. You know? Have a little bit of regeneration going on. And that could be the difference between life and death, quite literally. All right. Another underground house, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Double jump is what we're looking for. And another band of regeneration. <laughs> How many more bands are there, man? Hey, guys. Check it out. Another one of these freaking cursed minecart rail things. <laughs> all right, come on, come on. What are we going to find? Anything decent at all? Oh, well, there's the freaking thing. What on earth is going on over it? Get out of here. There we are. Stupid, noisy, pesky butt. That's pretty awesome. Uh, shoe spikes, uh, platinum bars. Yep, I just don't need these. I'm going to take the gold chest, though. Goodbye. All right, what is that? That is, what, topaz? I don't much care about it. I just want more epicness. The goblin, he needs, he needs his double jump. Come on, man. Oh, hey, guys. Do you want a third spider biome with your other spider biomes? Hmm. Oh, God. We've come across so many spider biomes in this darn series. Gee whiz. All right. Uh, well, I'm not even going to be able to pick up the darn freaking chest, am I? All right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to destroy this thing. Wow. And another pair of water walking boots. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. We are literally getting the same things over and over and over. Like, what the heck? 
in all seriousness, what the heck? All right, at least I can actually like put that one on. Oh my word. <laughs> Hold up to reach higher. Oh, oh. <laughs> that, that's literally what it does. Cool, all right. I mean, I guess that might be kind of good for building perhaps, but pretty limited, I guess. <laughs> Oh, we got one of these fairy things. Oh, snappers. All right, well, hopefully it leads me to something decent. Don't leave me yet, buddy. I'm on my way. I'm going as quick as I can. Hey, life crystal. As it said on the detector, I was wondering where it was. And there we are. We now do know. Brilliant. All right, according to that, there is yet another life crystal nearby, though. Oh, man. I wanted to say chest. Not, not anything else, ideally. Come on, man. I need decent stuff. Lol, what? Why is there lava this high up in the world? I'm pretty sure I've discovered this before as well. Like, you're not supposed to see lava this high up in the world. That is very, very peculiar. But it only ever seems to be around the sand biome, right? So clearly there's got to be something going on there, right? Oh, another fairy. All right, well, let's go ahead and see where this one leads us. Oh, goodness me. Come on, I'm trying to, like, follow you as best I can. Come on, double jump. No double jump! <laughs> oh, this game is starting to get on my nerves right about now. How? How have we not come across double jump yet? It's just ever elusive, isn't it? Ah, gosh darn it, man. Well, ladies and gents, it happened. I accidentally threw my Spelunker glow stick. And I'm not even entirely sure that I'm going to be able to get it back. And quite frankly, I cannot be bothered to wait to find out. So, yeah, if we come across another skeleton merchant, then we'll probably buy ourselves, like, several of those bad boys. And then, yeah, we should be pretty good. <laughs> I can hear mushroom music, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, it's got to be around here somewhere. Come on. I mean, I can only imagine it's right below us, right? Surely. Come on, let's just blow our way up to it. Come on. Please, base lords, let there be... Oh, uh, that doesn't appear to be a trap chest. Yeah! Finally, ladies and gents, finally! Your boy has done found it. The loot goblin is very satisfied right now. All right, I'm putting the teleportation in the bin, but I will actually go ahead and use it. However, I do want to quickly go ahead and explore this biome, see if there's like any other things that I should be going ahead and getting. And honestly, the answer to that question is, I mean, mostly no. But then again, we do have ourselves a giant obsidian pit here. And I think that I would be doing you guys and myself a disservice if I didn't try to go ahead and grab some obsidian. I mean, we do have a platinum pick and I'm pretty sure that is enough to be able to pick this stuff up, right? No. Oh. Okay, well, I guess it's Operation Blow the Crap Out of This Thing. How the professionals get obsidian. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. It's all over the place, my dudes. Fantastic, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. All right, maybe we'll have one more bomb there. Maybe another bomb there. And yeah, actually, I think we've uh, I think we've got a pretty good amount. How much do we have? 120? Uh, maybe a little bit more, actually. Nice. So, shiny red balloon, cloud in a bottle, and we've got obsidian. Eventually, we should be able to make ourselves some pretty darn high-end accessories. However, for now, we can go ahead and do just a little something-something. Where's the Tinkerer workshop? There it is. Okay. Cloud and a balloon. Arcane. Okay, very, very cool. So, with this bad boy, if we combine it with a horseshoe, we can go ahead and get some pretty epic stuff with it. We've got obsidian here. We can go ahead and make for ourselves one of uh, these bad boys. All right, so check it out, guys. The obsidian water walking boots. We can indeed go ahead and create these bad boys and provides ability to walk on water and honey. And I'm pretty sure that also applies to lava as well. Grants immunity to fire blocks as well. Okay, and it is still a material, and I think these can be made into the lava waders if we eventually get ourselves the, I think it's the magma stone? No, not the magma stone, the lava charm? One of those two. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Crafting, and boom. Yeah, okay. Ooh, so the obsidian rose and the molten charm. Oh, that's interesting. Molten charm plus obsidian rose, or we've got lava charm and obsidian rose. What the hell is this then? 
What's the difference between a lava charm and an emolten charm? So real quick while I remember, if I buy myself a couple of mana potions and I was to pop down here, there we are, I can make the proper mana potion, the 100 mana potion, and then I go ahead and combine that with the mana flower here. Oh wait, no, well I mean that's the result, isn't it? You get the mana flower out of it all, but there we go. There we are, nature's gift, mana potion, mana flower, and it's guarding. Very, very nice. It's still a material as well. What? I don't remember this still still being a material. Okay. Clearly there's something else I can make with it. Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, whoa. Putrid scent, the arcane flower, the mana cloak, the magnet flower. Holy crap. This is cool. Brand new stuff I've never seen before. So that's gotten in hard mode from, I think, the, what, the corruption mimics? I think? Star Cloak, that's gotten pretty easily from regular Mimics. And then the Celestial Magnet is bought, I do believe, from the Traveling Merchant. Cool. <laughs> that is so cool, dude. I think the Mana Cloak might just be the thing I'd like. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Nicely organized inventories. We've now gone ahead and split up our gear chest into accessories, including the higher end accessories that we've been slowly crafting. And of course, all of the weaponry and ammo we have on our world. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. So, as always, ladies and gentlemen, we do have the comment of the day to finish off. And for today, that comes from a user by the name of Pulse Fell, who says, you know what they need? an upgrade for the flare gun that requires fragments of each pillar to make that makes it the strongest weapon in the game can you imagine that one of the most annoying things to pick up in the game the flare gun being made into the most powerful weapon in the game like how crazy would that be it's like going from one side of the spectrum all the way up to the max guys it's like going from zero to 105 it's crazy that'd be so cool though right <laughs> oh dear anyways guys that will wrap it up for today thank you very much for watching if you guys have enjoyed today's episode you guys know what to do drop a like and very much appreciate it hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell so you don't miss out on future content but for now thanks so much for watching have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next episode <laughs>